We are here in Anaheim at Star Wars Celebration. Look at that. Can you believe it? Three years ago, we bought our tickets to this event. And because of the pandemic, it's been delayed and delayed. And now we're here. Can't believe it. Super excited. Obviously, tons of stuff that we're looking forward to seeing. News about Obi-Wan. Looking forward to hearing all the news at the Lucasfilm panel. Maybe some uh, more Mandalorian news. Gosh, there's just so much. And we are going to show it to you all weekend. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And, you know, like this video because it helps us out. Uh, so it is the day before. It's Wednesday the 25th. The convention starts tomorrow. However, uh, we are here a day early because there is a um, health check-in. Uh, so to get into Star Wars Celebration this year, you need uh, proof of vaccination or negative test result. And you actually check in. Uh, they have a couple of different locations to do the health check. You get a little wristband. I don't have it yet. Um, to go throughout the weekend to show that you're, you know, you, you've certified uh, that you're either negative or you've taken the vaccination. And um, masks are required inside, so you won't see this face very often unless it's covered by a mask. But you don't care. You want to see all the cool stuff inside those doors? I do too. But first, we're going to get our health check-in. Okay, so today's health check-in is at the Marriott. So we are walking in now. Um, it opens at 2 o'clock. It's about a quarter till. I'm assuming there'll be a line. Lots of folks are coming in today and doing that stuff, getting that out of the way before the convention. Okay, it looks like Darth Maul is pointing the way for us. Uh, this way to registration, will call, and health checks. This way, right there. And here's the health and safety information. If you're attending throughout the weekend, everyone must wear an approved face covering at all times while inside the venue, whether vaccinated or unvaccinated. And, you know, respect people's personal space. Star Wars celebration. Okay, here it is. Here's the health check. Wow, huge room. Um, I thought it started at 2 o'clock, but apparently not because uh, there are already people here. Oh, okay. So this is, um, looks like this is will call. And uh, so if you have um, resale tickets from Light, you pick them up there. Will call. Um, exhibitor. Media information. And uh, all sorts of cool stuff. Okay, in and out in 30 seconds because I did the uh, pre-registration through the Clear app. I just showed them my barcode and here I am. On my way to Star Wars Tiki Night at Trader Sam's, I'm stopping by Star Wars Trading Post and look at the new uh, action figure line they have with the classic action figures. Got a, like a sweatshirt there, very cool. Here we go, the retro collection box set. Love it. And they've got like a whole line of shirts and stuff over there too. Check out this awesome Ralph McQuarrie art on this bag. Sweatshirt. Ah, oh, that hat is really cool with the pins on it. Some more concept art. They've got some stuff here that I've not seen in other stores, which is pretty cool. Like, look at this shirt. I love the retro collection figures that they have on these shirts. Here's another fun shirt. Star Wars 45, that's very cool. And uh, vintage action figure collectible cards. Okay, like I just said, I'm here at the Disneyland Hotel for Star Wars Tiki Takeover Night at Trader Sam's. Um, it's right back there, starts very shortly. So um, this is a fan event, just I guess a bunch of Star Wars fans who also love Tiki, also love Trader Sam's, gathering at Trader Sam's right here in the Disneyland Hotel. So if you are attending Star Wars Celebration, definitely uh, check your social media feeds. If you're on Facebook, that's probably the best place to do it. Check out um, Star Wars Celebration fan groups and things like that because what you'll see is there's a lot of fun events happening around the convention, especially after hours. So like tonight, Star Wars Tiki Takeover. Um, later on in the week, there's Star Wars events at um, Angel Stadium. There's Star Wars events at local breweries and local restaurants. And all of them are posted on those Facebook pages by the organizers of the events. So if you're looking on continuing that Star Wars experience after the convention ends, definitely check out the Facebook groups. So uh, let's head on into the Tiki Takeover. 
last time we were here at the Disneyland Resort, it's been a, a few years, we stayed in the Adventure Tower at the concierge level. I'm gonna put a link right up here somewhere. Um, and you can see the awesome experience we had because you could see the fireworks from your room. The Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar is actually pretty small inside. There's a little bit of a wait. Uh, so actually the Star Wars Tiki Takeover is on Tangaroa Terrace, which is the outdoor area. You can get all the same drinks that you can get inside, just without the fun shows and things like that. Oh, looks like there's a bit of a wait out here too. Uh, it's cool to So I ordered the Tiki 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 Rum, which is basically a painkiller. Um, because we're outside, I got enough in it to go cut. And as you can see, people are kind of congregating around the fireplace here. People are just kind of congregating everywhere to enjoy Star Wars. That does it for us here on the day before uh, Star Wars Celebration. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the little notification icon. We are going to be releasing videos all weekend of our experience here at Star Wars Celebration. We just kind of wanted to give you a little preview, um, especially if you are attending this weekend, to get an understanding of the health check process and just talk a little bit about some of the cool outside of the convention experiences like the Star Wars Tiki Takeover that we went to. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you tomorrow.